Hey there, Wes Schneider here with another tailgate technology session brought to you by Frontier Precision. Uh, today we're up in northern Minnesota at the headwaters of the great Mississippi River. I figured this would be a great opportunity since I was up here to check out what the Trimble R12 with this new ProPoint is capable of. I've been doing some demonstrations up here and it's really been impressive uh, with what it can get into and its repeatability in those different scenarios. Uh, while we're at it though, I'm going to demonstrate showing the uh, RTK reset function that is pretty necessary in any of the R10s on up to now the R12 uh, for usage. So, all right, well, let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Come on. It's about an 800 foot walk in from the, from the parking lot. So we're just making our way through. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of canopy in here. <laughs> all right, here we are at the headwaters of the uh, Great Mississippi. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do some tests out here. I'm gonna get a shot in here, kind of our my base baseline, I guess you could say. And um, then we're gonna head into some of the thicker stuff here up the trail and get a few shots in, all right? All right, so even though we're in the open scenario like this, doing the RTK reset is still extremely important, uh, both in the open and in uh, the treed canopy areas. So you'll see me go ahead and hit the menu drop down, go under measure, and go into RTK initialization. It's already defaulting to the uh, RTK uh, reset here. So you just go ahead and hit the reset. What I'm watching for is your precisions there in the top right corner. You can see the red X appear and then dial back down with the green check mark letting you know within your precision based tolerances so once i have that done i usually like to go ahead and grab another shot and that's what gives you your confidence uh, when you're taking those measurements all right so for example for our baseline that we're going to do out here um, i'm just going to go ahead and tap that position and do an inverse on it so that lets me see horizontally, those two points are seven thousandths apart, vertically we're right around two hundredths apart. All right, so let's go ahead and head in and get a few different uh, scenario shots out here. All right, let's just see what we can do in here. So again, um, with the precision-based systems, we recommend resetting the system. Fun mosquitoes. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So just first pulling it out, um, I haven't reset anything. You can see the pro points down by uh, 400 by 600 there. I'm gonna go ahead and get a measurement in. I'm gonna hang out though and let it um, count down for about uh, 15 seconds here. Get a, bit, a little bit longer of a uh, observation. Store that. So let's go ahead and reset it. So I already have it in my favorites, but if you don't, you can go down under measure, RTK initialization, reset. And I'm going to hit reset there. So again, you see the red X letting you know it dropped and regain. Took another measurement out here. Observation Store that. Stored. Let's go ahead and check those two out. Okay. 
we go horizontally about four hundredths vertically we're at about a tenth in here between those two points all right there you can see we're three hundredths by six hundredths longer you stay in um, the more steady that value becomes with this new ProPoint RTK engine. It's pretty incredible. All right, let's go ahead and head down and find another uh, scenario to try. All right, here's another good one. If I can remember, I can get a shot upward so you can kind of see what the canopy looks like on this guy. Oh yeah. I don't know if you've heard that the mosquito is a Minnesota state bird. <laughs> Whew. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get our uh, measurement here. I'll just call this one, uh, I'll leave that alone. Four precisions. Again, we're watching those precisions work their way down. Precision-based systems, it has that red X letting you know you're out of your tolerances. Green check mark lets you know you're in your tolerances. So thicker I get in here, you know, it's, it's really gotta work for those values. There we go. TSC7 vibrated to let me know that it was capable of storing. Go ahead and grab that. Do the same thing though, do that RTK reset. Anytime you're in these situations, you wanna do that. Reset, you see the red X, let you know it drops. You can see it jump up to two by three feet there. We brought them all back in. And now we're at three by five. So let's go ahead and measure that one. Hang out for just a minute here or maybe 15 seconds. I think that's about all I can handle with the bugs. <laughs> all right, store that guy. Observation stored. Let's do the same thing on this one here. I'm just gonna check it. So from the map screen, I'm gonna tap it, tap to select both of those items, hit okay, tap hold, and compute inverse. That lets me see horizontally about 300s. On this one, vertically was within 8,000s. Extremely good. I would take it. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. I'm gonna see if I can find some tall pines and uh, see what those can do. I've, from my testing so far this week, that definitely has been the, uh, the one that really makes it work for it. It might take a few minutes to get that guy. So, all right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you what it looks like above here too. All right, I'm just gonna dial you up here. Let's see what I was looking at. So, pretty thick. All right, on to the next. I did not bring my muck boots with on this one, so I'm not going to go down there. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got some pretty tall pines here. These should definitely make the R12 struggle. So let's see what we can do. Oh, these got to be at least 60 footers. We'll get right in the middle of this grouping.
All right, this is definitely not a good spot for GPS. <laughs> so let's see what we can do. My mission this week is pretty much just to uh, been to educate, but also see if I can make it fail. That way we, we have to know what we're capable of. That's always important. All right, right away in this situation, you can see that the precisions are quite a bit higher. Um, in the past, with some of the other leafed trees, um, they've already been down lower than this. So uh, you can hang out, watch or walk its way down from uh, those two or three feet um, on down. It's a beautiful park, by the way. So if you get a chance to come up to Minnesota and you want to see where the largest river in the U.S. starts, you can come check out the headwaters. Itasca State Park is um, quite extensive and uh, beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and just initiate that reset right away in here. Let's just watch it and uh, I might speed up the tape for you, but I'll go ahead and time it as well. Speed up the tape, that's funny. <laughs> that kind of shows you how old you are when you say that. Speed up the tape. Six hundredths by a tenth. In this situation, I am going to take that. <laughs> so, Polar precision. get it measured, and you can see that it jumped up to that um, eleven hundredths. So then, um, my red X is still on. I'm gonna let it crunch here for a little bit before I store. But in a lot of cases, the horizontal might be what you care about the most in this situation. So, and that being 500s right now uh, is pretty impressive. I'm going to go ahead and store that at a tenth vertically, 500s horizontally. Observation stored. All right. So let's go ahead and reset it and do it again. got down to our under a tenth um, that one took uh, about three minutes to get into that um, see but again just watching them gradually work its way down that's what this pro point RTK engine is doing using all available satellites um, to derive our solution there it bounced back up again I told you I'd try and really throw it through the uh, the ringer. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now that it's pretty much under the tent there, horizontal's still um, jumping up above a tent a little bit on me. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, initiate a measurement here. Nine by nine. Polar precisions. And just see what we can do. Four by seven. I'm gonna go ahead and store that. Observation stored. Let's check that one out now. Horizontally, we'll round up to four hundreds. Vertically, a little over seven hundreds on this one. All right, I'm gonna grab the camera and point you up what we're in on this. It, uh, mind boggling. All right. Pretty much right under branch. All right, maybe we'll find one or two more spots on our way out. So let's head on that direction. Can only donate so much blood to the local mosquitoes. All right. 